Good day, viewers. My name is Mtabsi Dube, and today I'm with my wife, Mrs. Dube, and we'll be taking lesson 13 that says, Wait on the Lord. Um, welcome, my wife. Before we start, we will start with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the time you've given us to discuss on your word. As we wait on you, Heavenly Father, may you give us patience, give us um, the ability to know that you are still in control. Bless us as we discuss this lesson and bless all those that are going to listen and view this lesson. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We have covered uh, a number of topics, a number of subjects. Uh, much admonition, uh, correction, and, and, and call for us to praise the Lord and to acknowledge the Lord as we have studied through the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. This time as we come to the end, um, there is a unique aspect that's coming through, that is wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have studied everything, but they still need to wait on the Lord. You know, when somebody says wait, it, it seems like it's an instruction to say stop. Mm -hmm. um, but this waiting on the Lord, uh, Mrs. Dube, as we started, is this something that calls us to halt our activity? No, not necessarily. Actually, this is not an idle wait. Mm -hmm. So the wait on the Lord here talks about how we're supposed to have faith in the Lord. All right. right. As the memory text reads, Psalms 27 verse 14. Mm. Wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be of good courage and okay. he will strengthen your heart. Wait, mm. I say, on the Lord. Mm -hmm. So as you have rightfully said, waiting is a, a, almost like someone is telling you to stand still. Mm -hmm. But here we're not just waiting on anyone. Yeah. Not on your friend, mm -hmm. not on your husband, not on your parent you're waiting on the lord yeah so this is a different type of waiting all right and then some then goes on to say um to talk about how we're supposed to be of good courage mm -hmm. when we're talking about be of good courage we're saying faithfulness that is bold yeah so you're not just waiting on the lord but you are waiting on the lord and having uh being strong mm -hmm. in your waiting mm -hmm. so the lord is asking us here to to make sure that as we wait for him, mm. there is something that he's going to do. Yeah. There's an ultimate fulfillment that he's going to, to do. Okay. There's an ultimate rest that he promises. Mm -hmm. So as we wait for that ultimate rest, we are trusting in him that he will s do what he has said he will do. Mm -hmm. But as we wait, we are also making sure that we call others to this yeah. ultimate rest that he says he's going to give us. So the waiting is an act of fully trusting mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. Faith in action. Yeah. Trust in action. Mm -hmm. And God will transform our darkness into day. Wow, interesting. <laughs> so, so the ultimate waiting has to do with the second coming of Christ. Mm. Where with all our hopes <clears throat> and all our dreams, uh, all prophecies and all there is, mm. Uh, will come to fruition. Yes. Therefore, in this, it motivates us to have action now. Yes. You would say you had aptly said that it's not waiting in inactivity, mm. but we are motivated by faith to work the works that are called the waiting. I like it when Jesus was about to leave. He says, "Watch and." Wait. wait. There, there is no inactivity. Mm. Wait for his coming, but there is activity that we should do. Mm. A, and the moment we talk about uh, faith, um, the opposite will be having a lack of faith, yes. um, taking things in one's own hands, presumption mm. and all those things. <clears throat> I, I hope the lesson will, will expound this and, and really tell us what we should wait for and how we should wait. But I like the, the identification, uh, maybe just for emphasis, that you are waiting on, on God, the, mm. the author of our faith. That's the person we are waiting for. Mm. So all our action is not marked with a lack of courage or weakness. Mm. We are waiting on God who is our source of strength. Mm. So we are going to go through uh, the lesson 
and discuss maybe on the call of waiting. Mm. What are your thoughts on that one? Okay, so again, this is um, the call we're being called for as we wait on the Lord. There mm -hmm. are, like what she said, there are some things that we should do as we wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, there are promises also that God gives us in, yeah. in this same waiting. So I'm just going to read um, Psalm 37, verse 34. Mm. And it reads, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt thee to inherit the land. When okay. the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. All right. So in your waiting, you're not just waiting for nothing, but mm -hmm. you're waiting to be exalted yeah. by God. Okay. And he will keep his way. Mm -hmm. So um, in this evil world where things happen left, right, and center, where we are not sure where the world is going, God mm. is making sure that he, keep, he, know, he keeps us um, grounded in him and yeah. in knowing that he who has promised will surely um, come through with his promises. So the sufferings of the present time, this is Romans 8, verse 18 to 25. Mm -hmm. The sufferings of the present times are not to be compared with the glory that is to come. Mm -hmm. So there is glory in waiting. Mm -hmm. God has um, made sure that even though it might be painful, I mean, who likes waiting? Yeah, It might be waiting in a queue or waiting for a medical diagnosis mm -hmm. or waiting for someone to come through. No one likes waiting. Yeah. But the promise comes through to say that if you wait, if you have perseverance, okay, mm -hmm. supreme commitment, mm -hmm. you remove fear from uh, before you, yeah. then God will come through for us. Mm -hmm. God wants us to be devoted children of his, mm -hmm. knowing that he is faithful. Mm -hmm. He is faithful. Yeah. It may seem like he takes so long, mm -hmm. but in his time, he makes all things beautiful. Amen. So waiting on the Lord means just hanging on, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we have a deep longing. We should have a deep longing for God. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I remember a song when we were growing up in a dry and weary land where mm -hmm. there is no water. water. My mm -hmm. soul thirst. We mm -hmm. must have that thirst for God. Okay. So in our waiting, it's not like we're just standing still. We're supposed to get a, a, a closer relationship with God. Mm. We're supposed to want to know who God is. And um, our desires are supposed to be aligned with what God wants us to do. Yeah. And um, we, as the whole world, as we all know, because of the suffering and everything that is going on because of sin, we're all waiting for the renewal of the world mm. and the blessing of meeting God. For me, that is the greatest of them all. Mm -hmm. The blessing of meeting this God who has asked us to wait. Yeah, That is the, an incredible promise right there. So as we suffer through, as we face all troubles, all trials, let us know that there is an ultimate promise that will be fulfilled. We will see God himself. Amen. So salvation then is the ultimate thing that mm. we are waiting for. Mm. <clears throat> you know, um, if you look at people like Job, mm. um, the patriots that we have in the Bible, they had to go mm. through crucibles and through hardships. And in all that, life was not easy. Mm. Uh, I think... It was so painful to know that you have been faithful to God. You have done everything you should do. Mm. Uh, and yet you lose your children, you lose your property, mm. you, you lose everything that you have, even your own health mm. um, uh, is, is at a testing point. Yet they did not murmur. Mm. Yet they did not throw That's down God. the towel. Mm -hmm. There's this word that we're given in the lesson that talks about perseverance. Mm -hmm. They soldiered on and they moved on and they kept the faith. And this is the calling that the lesson is saying that in whatever we're going through, there is that hope of salvation. Mm -hmm. We have to wait for the ultimate uh, salvation and reunion with God. In Romans 8 verse 22, it mm. says that the whole creation, Grown. so you're not alone. Mm. Mm. Uh, the whole creation is growing and it travaileth in pain together until now. Mm. So things are not fine. Things are not well. Everybody is, but we are waiting. Um, verse 23, waiting for the adoption and the redemption of our body. Mm. This is the ultimate that 
we need to look forward to and we need to wait for. So whatever you are going through, my brother, as we end, or my sister, as we end the book of Psalms, we are called to waiting. Mm. Be patient and persevere and look forward for that blessed hope. Well, as we we grow in this spiritual journey, mm. uh, it, it's as if like a child that is born, wind, and, and matures to adulthood. Mm. What are your comments on Psalms 31 as it talks about wind child? Yes, yeah, Psalms 131 mm -hmm. um, talks about a relationship that we're supposed to have with God. Correct. I will read Psalm 131 verse 2. Surely I have calmed and quietened my soul. Mm. Like a wind child with his mother, like yeah. a wind child is my soul within me. Mm. You know, after having gone through the experience of winning a child, yeah, I can tell you that it's not an easy process. Okay, it's not easy on the parent. It's mm -hmm. not easy on the child either. Mm -hmm. However, the process is necessary. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary because a child has to grow. Okay, without winning the child and having them still on milk. Mm. Um, the nutrients that they get are not enough right. from the milk All at right. some point. Mm -hmm. So they need to be weaned. So for them to be weaned, you have to take away what, that which is comfortable to them. Correct. And in doing that, the child has to trust that you know what you're doing as a parent. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing that uh, the psalmist is bringing here. That there is a time for us to be given milk as children. Mm -hmm. And there's a time when God says, no, yeah. this is enough. Now you have to take away the pride that is in you. You're right. The ambitions that you may have that are not aligned to God mm -hmm. have to be taken away. Mm -hmm. As I said, it may not be a very simple process. It may be painful, mm. but it's necessary. Okay. Now God then introduces to us solid food. Yeah. Right. He gives us bigger things. Mm -hmm. that we, 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 we now have to now start taking in yeah. so that we can be able to finish his work. We have to have childlike trust as God does this. Mm -hmm. Because if we do not trust him and we think that what he's taking away is what is good for us, we will not grow. Correct. So there is need for growth. There is need for you to have peace of a wind child, mm -hmm. knowing that God is still in control. God knows what he's doing. Right. Mm -hmm. And the psalmist also says in verse one that, Lord, my heart is not haughty, mm -hmm. nor my eyes lofty, mm -hmm. nor do I concern myself with great things, mm -hmm. nor with things too profound for me. Mm -hmm. So he first says that I, I humble myself mm -hmm. and I let I, I want to seek you mm -hmm. and things that are greater than me. I will live for you. Yeah. For God. But still God. Uh, then also introduces some things for us. As we are being wind, mm -hmm. some things are also then taught to us. Some things that may have seemed to be too big for us are then also given to us. Mm. So we must have peace in being wind from the things that we think are good for us. Mm. Don't hold on to things that God is trying to uh, remove you from you. Mm -hmm. Let him remove them because he knows what is best for you. Amen. So... We cannot just um, appear before the throne, mm. still having the blemishes mm. of our old pride. men, mm. the pride, uh, the sinful pleasures, the lust and etc. Mm. And I thank God because it is the duty of God, mm. as it's the duty of the mother, mm. to manage the winning of the child. Yeah. And, and God does not come and keep you as you are. Mm. As you open the door of your heart, he comes in and, and some things that you used to do, he has to take them out yes. and teach you and give you solid food mm, as it were mm. and bring you up to the stature. I, I like it when you say the nutrition. You, you see, if you look at little child as they are being best fed, mm. you can tell that this person is enjoying, they are mm, enjoying, mm. but there's a time to win that off and mm. give them um, enough food, mm. solid food that will enable them to run at the course of life. Mm. So we have been called to wait on the Lord. A and I would want then to say that as a child in the arms of the mother, let's let the Lord do what he has to do 
in our mm. lives for us to run this race. Mm. Jesus says, unless you are like little children, mm. you shall by no means uh, see kingdom. the kingdom of mm. heaven. So when we are nourished, there's evangelism that we need to do. Yes. Uh, there's a work that we have been given in the Great Commission. Let's look at Psalms 126 mm. as we talk about bringing in the sheaves. What are the thoughts that are come to mind there? Okay, so Psalm 126 uh, talks about the, cap the captives, mm -hmm. right? They were in captivity in Zion. Mm -hmm. But here they were, even in captivity, they were singing, mm. right? I'll read verse 2. Then our mouth was filled with laughter. Mm -hmm. and our tongue with singing. And mm -hmm. they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Yeah. So even in captivity, God was still working with his people. Mm -hmm. God does not um, wait to do great things for us when we are in a, only in heaven. You yeah. know? Yeah. He still wants to do things, even when things look like they are so difficult. Mm -hmm. He still wants to work uh, for his people. He still wants to show that he can still do it. Yeah. So firstly, they were looking at how God delivered other people before. Mm -hmm. You know, it is interesting that usually um, when you look at your own case, it is good to also reflect on the past yeah. and say, God did this and this and this. For me. If mm -hmm. not for you, for others. Mm -hmm. But after you have done that, then come back to yourself and say, where am I now? What mm -hmm. has God done? What can he do even in this present time? Yes. So in the present captivity, still God did great things for them. I mm. like the fact that um, this too at the end, it is not the captives that were saying God has done great things for us. Yeah. No, it is those that were watching mm -hmm. that said God has done great things for, for oh, them. them. Mm. So for me, this shows that these people in being captives were still representing God mm. Mm. in such a way that they were witnesses of mm. God. They were working and bringing in the sheaves even as they were in captivity. Mm -hmm. Because people could then witness and say, no, their God is good. Mm. So no matter what troubles you may be facing, let people see God yeah. through you, even yes. in your trouble. So mm -hmm. that even in the difficult times in our lives, people must say, no, the Lord truly is good to Amen. this person. So as they went through the memories of the past and uh, looking at how others were delivered and now they're in captivity themselves and God is doing great things for them, their hopes are renewed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they know that God will still do something, yeah. right? And um, this four then says, bring back our captivity, O God, as the streams of the south. Mm -hmm. Those who reap in tears shall uh, so those who sow in tears mm -hmm. shall reap in joy. Yes. So, and then he concludes and says, he who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall doubtlessly come again with rejoicing, mm -hmm. bringing his sheaves with him. Amen. So, as I have said before, they were captives, but still sowing. Mm-hmm still planting seeds of who God was to the people that are around them. Yeah. And even with the tears of uh, with the tears of knowing that they are captives, knowing that they have all this trouble among them, they still worked. Yeah. So in the end, we need to bring in the sheaves. Amen. So that God may be glorified in our lives. Yes, but but sowing is not comfortable. No. Um there are very few smiles when when uh, people are in the field, they're sowing mm -hmm. and the sun is scorching. Mm. Um, but yet when we come to the reaping, reaping. Mm. usually there are few sowers. But when it comes to reaping, <laughs> everybody wants to mm. go there. Everybody mm. wants to participate. Mm. Uh, and there's the joy in that plentiful harvest. Mm. And, and these points even uh, in our current times, there are mm. very few people who are involved in evangelism mm. but we know that when when he shall come and shall give reward there will be much more joy when we come to the end of the world mm. and and it's an invitation that maybe let's partake in the sowing yes such that we may have a fuller and a deeper understanding Indeed. even for the joys that will come with the reaping mm. um so if 
Jesus did not miss his words in Matthew to say, go ye therefore. Mm -hmm. That's the sowing where we go and preach and teach. But we do not do the growing, the watering and the like. Mm. That's the work of God. But when we have done our part, surely a harvest uh, will be plentiful mm. and God will do his part to give increase to what we have done. In the end of the Bible, I think it's Revelation 22, 12. Mm. Jesus says, Behold, I come quickly with my reward to give every man according to what he has what? Done. done. The work mm. we participate in when we are in the sowing there, mm. the result and the reward comes for those who participate. Mm. So maybe it's a question for me and you and for you viewers out there. Mm. Are we participating in the sowing? The master is said um, in Matthew that, behold, the, the work is plenteous, mm -hmm. but the laborers are what? A few. A few. We are called to wait on the Lord. We are called to participate with the Lord in evangelism mm -hmm. such that we can bring in uh, the okay. sheaves. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we are called to do is to wait in God's Sabbath rest. Mm -hmm. Any comments there on that one before we wrap up the lesson? Okay, um, Psalm 92, the whole of it really, mm. talks about aspects of the Sabbath. Okay. Right, and um, if we look at it, I will just read uh, the first few verses. Verse 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to mm -hmm. sing praises unto thee, O Most High. Yeah. And when is the best time to do this? Mm -hmm. Yes, during the week we do it, but more so on Sabbath, right? Yeah. And it says to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Mm -hmm. I like verse 3. It says upon an instrument of 10 strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. So all this describes praises to God, mm -hmm. which is what we're supposed to do on a Sabbath. And then verse 4 then says, for thou, Lord, hath made me glad through mm -hmm. thy works. Mm -hmm. I will triumph in the works of thy hand. Yes. Just to top it off, it then describes how God created the world, mm -hmm. right? As he is describing the works of the, the, the hands of God and how God's thoughts are deep. Yeah. This just describes for me exactly what, what the Sabbath is. Yeah. As you commemorate the Sabbath, we are in awe of what God has done. Mm -hmm. But not only that, the psalm then goes on to describe now how things will be. Mm. at the final rests this is like the 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 sabbath is mm -hmm. in the the rest of the world yes. when when uh when jesus comes back right mm -hmm. and then it it says uh verse 12 to 14 the righteous shall flourish like mm -hmm. the palm tree mm -hmm. he shall grow like a cedar in lebanon mm -hmm. those that are planted in the house of the lord shall uh, flourish in the courts of our god they shall still bring forth fruit in old age and shall be fat and flourishing. Wow. As much as this might sound like it, um, it describes at the end, this is also even now. Mm. As we who are planted in the Lord, we who believe in God even now, we need to bring for forth fruit. Correct. So for me, again, this just stresses the point that in our waiting, we're not waiting idly. Yes. We're wa waiting whilst we're, wake we're working. Mm -hmm. So we magnify the Lord. The rest of the psalm then talks about how God uh, fights for your enemies, mm -hmm. right? And how he is there to stand up for those who are righteous. Okay. All this is what God does for us if we believe in him. Mm -hmm. And if we also know that the Sabbath rest is meant for us to magnify God yeah. as he is the most high. Mm -hmm. He has a supreme position and advantage of our enemies. Yeah. God does this, all that is listed in this verse for us, only if we know that he is our Lord mm -hmm. and he wants us to glorify him in the day that he has made for us to glorify him. Amen. And Ezekiel 20 verse 20 will then say, then God gave them the Sabbaths as a what? As a sign mm. between them and and. It, it's such an important thing. Hebrews will confirm and say, it therefore remains that we enter into this rest. Mm. So Psalms does not close 
on a low note. Mm -mm. Some close by highlighting these big themes that we are invited unto. Mm. So we want to now look at, with the time remaining, the joy that comes in the morning. Mm. You know, mm. in this life we have talk, talked about the crucibles, about the hardships, and, and the perseverance that we are supposed to uh, display as Christians mm. and to, to hold on, even if at times it feels like giving up is an mm. easier yeah. option. We want to talk about this joy that comes in the morning. There's something about the night. Yes. Most accidents happen at night. Mm. Most sick people, they actually die at night. Mm. But we want to think, what is it about the morning? Mm. Your comments on the final section. Joy in the morning. You're so mm -hmm. right that when even when a child is sick, it feels like they get more sick at night. Mm. But the morning surely is coming. Yeah. And it is a privilege to know that God has made it. There are so many Psalms that talk about in the morning, mm -hmm. in the morning, in the morning, when I rise, give me Jesus. All mm. those are also songs that we sing. Yes. So there's something special about the morning. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is when Jesus stands up, yeah. you know, when he says enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And there's a redemption in the morning. Yeah. Now. Uh, I will read Psalm 5 verse 3 and it says, My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. Mm -hmm. O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee yep. and will look up. Mm -hmm. So there are many other verses here. I will also read uh, Psalm, 96, uh, sorry, Psalm 59 verse 16. Mm -hmm. It says, But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of mm -hmm. thy mercy in the morning. Yeah. Psalm 92 verse 2 would say, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. Mm -hmm. So for me, it feels like there is darkness all around. Mm. There is, uh, you know, it's night. Mm -hmm. But in the morning, there is divine redemption. Amen. In the morning, again, we say Jesus will stand. Mm -hmm. And if I remember, well, Re Revelation actually describes Jesus as who? The bright and morning star. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Daylight comes. And I find that in the evening or at night, there's desperation. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, you know, you don't know what is going on where. Yeah. But deliverance comes in the morning. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has promised that the morning surely is coming yeah. when he will make sure that all our troubles go away yeah. and he stands up for us. So joy truly comes in the morning yes. as Jesus now takes his place and um, everything then ends. The long night of trouble and despair ends. Yeah, God delivers from the darkness of death. You know, Death yes. has done a lot in this world, mm -hmm. but the end is coming. Yeah. So if we are residing in the land of the uprightness, if we know that our ways are true with God, mm -hmm. we will surely see this morning when uh, Jesus comes. And we also see in Mark 18, uh, so Mark 16, verse 1 to 8, mm -hmm. I will not read it, but I will summarize it. When Jesus resurrected, mm -hmm. the women went to the grave when? In, in the, the morning. In the morning. And for sure, in the morning, resurrection had taken place. Mm -hmm. So the morning is a special time, even for us living now, as we wait for that great morning. Mm. In the morning, make sure that you rise and give praises to God. Because even as we sleep, you do not know what is happening around you. Yeah. But the morning brings you the assurance that God has given you yet another day. Yeah. The morning gives you the assurance that his grace is new every morning. Yes. So let us make sure to know that even if things may not be well in your life, joy still comes in the morning. Yes, the ultimate morning is coming. But for now, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Yes. Jesus will come to take us home soon. Amen. So in every experience, let's not lose hope. <clears throat> let's not lose foresight that night might endure mm. but joy will come, come in the morning mm. troubles might endure but joy will come in the morning mm. blessed are those who will hold on mm. and say i will not let you go unless you bless me mm. and blessings will come 
in, in fact, it's it's quite interesting that when when they went there to that tomb, mm. um, they, they they thought um, they were just look, dressing the body. Yes, things have happened. Mm. We we are going to dress the body, mm. and and the whole weekend was gloom and doom for mm. them. Yet when they went there in the morning, little did they know mm. that the angels were announced to them that he is he's risen. risen. Mm. The Jesus that you seek is risen. Mm. He's no longer dead. And because he lives, because he rose, we also have assurance that mm. even in our life crucibles, when we are down, mm. God in heaven has got the power to rise us up. Mm. So whatever you are going through, wait on the Lord. Yes. Don't give up. Mm. You may be down today. Know that joy comes in the morning. Mm. You, resurrection comes, you picked up a very interesting part about how we we, we grieve for the dead mm. and, and the like. And it seems like nothing can, can really compensate mm. for the loss. Yet because he lives, because he rose, mm. we are assured that one day surely joy shall come. Mm. So it's a challenge to me, it's a challenge to you, and it's a challenge to the viewers. Mm. Let's wait on the Lord. As we close the book of Psalms, there is no instruction that is as imperative as this one. Mm, we are right. in the last days. Mm. Wait for the Lord and move as the Lord will move in mm. our life. Mm. We shall have a word of prayer as we close the lesson. Father in heaven, we thank you for the book of Psalms. In our night seasons, help us to remember that joy comes in the morning. Help us memorize the Psalms. Help us memorize the promises and help us know that what you did in the past, you will do it again. Mm. And that one day, soon and very soon, the eastern sky shall open and Jesus will come and take us home where there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, and no more death. In the meantime, help us wait on you mm. and work till you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.